What's going on everybody, it's Carmine from Bar Mine Tech, and today we're going to be working with a project called Nebula Sync. So if you're somebody who runs multiple pie hole instances, what Nebula Sync is going to do is going to make it into a cluster pretty much. So it's going to sync the config from your primary across to your secondaries. You could have multiple pie hole servers, so you could have two, three, four, as many as you really want. I think at some point it's probably going to drop off and not really going to have a use for more than that. But maybe you run multiple environments and that's why you might have several different pie hole servers. Personally, I run two. My router is an Asus router. It accepts two different DNS addresses. So I do use two different DNS addresses. So if one fails, it can fail over to the secondary, vice versa. Or if it needs to load balance, it can. My primary, of course, is the primary. It gets the majority of the DNS queries. But sometimes I do need to fail over to the secondary or the router decides to by itself. The issue I always had is that there is teleporter in Pi Hole, but that means that every time I change something or something updates, I need to keep pulling teleporter across. What Nebula Sync is going to do is it's going to take the teleporter config and it's going to push it to all your Pi Hole instances that are in the Nebula Sync group. This isn't a part of Pi Hole. This project is no way associated with it, and they want to make that clear in the doc. But it does seem to be a very efficient way to manage a Pi Hole cluster if you are running one or multiple Pi Hole servers. To do this, you are going to need Docker. So I do have a Docker machine set up already with Portainer, so that's what we're going to be using. If you do need to set, have that set up, I'll have a card up in the corner so you can check out how to set up Docker and Portainer. Other than that, let's get right into the setup. Also, we're not going to be going over the setup of Pi Hole today. We're only going to be focusing on the Nebula Sync setup. If you are interested in setting up Pi Hole, I'll have a link in the video and a card up in the corner going to my Pi Hole V6 video. So if you do want to check that out, you can. I'll have a card in the corner, like I said. So over here, we do have the Nebula Sync GitHub. It's it's a pretty simple project. It's similar to how Watchtower runs. Is there's no GUI. There's nothing. It just kind of runs in the background. So Nebula Sync is going to run out of a Docker container. And you can see over here it's going to synchronize the v6 configuration to replicas over here's for the cli over here's for the compose this is what we're going to be working with and then over here we just have some of the required environmental variables and then there's optional ones that we could adjust as needed we're going to focus on these required for setup and then we'll talk about these as well so we are going to work with cron and then these options up here but we're not going to go into detail about doing all these other sync options. So personally, I don't do a lot of my work through PyHole. I actually only use PyHole for my DNS. I don't use it for DHCP. I don't really have groups in place. I don't have special configs in my PyHole. So I don't really need to change it based off anything else. If you're somebody who do runs DHCP or other, you know, certain things through PyHole that you want to make sure are always correct, you can play with this. It goes through a different file and that's how like the Docker will pull it and work with it to know what you want to sync and what you don't want to sync. If you do want to check something out that explains this a lot more, Techno Tim has a video on that and I'll have a link to that below. But I'm just going to cover the base config because that's really all I need. So I think that's really enough of that. I'm going to open up my Portainer instance and we'll get this set up. So over here I'm in my Portainer instance and this is the one we actually used a few weeks ago on the bezel video and a couple others. So here's image and everything. So for this process, we're going to come back over to the GitHub and I'm just going to copy this whole section over here for the compose. And like I said, I'll have a link below to this as well. We're going to come back over to Portainer. We're going to come to the templates. We're going to do custom and then we're going to create a custom template. So we're going to name it Nebula and we'll make the description pie hole sync. Now over here, we're just going to come down to the web editor. I'm going to paste that in. Just to go through the config really quick, we just copied over the Docker Compose, and then I just started to pre-fill it in with some of my information. So just to go through, we're going to be pulling the image that's going to give the container name, and now we're going to go into the environmental variable. So I, I pre-loaded it with my information. So my primary DNS for PyHole is going to be this dot .154, and then there's going to be a pipe, and then you could put in your password. Similarly, these will be the replicas, so this will be what the primary is going to push the config over to your other servers that you run, or your other PyHole instances. So it's going to be the same format, and then if you do have more than two, you can just put a comma, and then you can put it in again. I only have two PyHole, so that's all we can really work with. We do have HTTPS available in PyHole v6, so we are going to be putting that in place. So to keep going through, we have full sync because I do want to sync everything up. And there's a cron job to run the sync however often I want to run it. The last thing is this flag over here for client skip TLS verification. Since we are using HTTPS, 
I don't have a cert, so it does see the site is insecure and it won't connect properly. So all we're doing is to tell it to ignore that and continue to connect. So you do need the HTTPS and you also need the slash admin slash login. So make sure you have that and then you can fill it in with your password. So I'm gonna do that really quick, make the stack and we'll be all set. So now it's all set, name it. So I'll just name it Nebula Sync and now I can deploy the stack. So then if we come over to the logs of that container, we can actually see that it's syncing and you can see it's pushing the replicas across. So it's working just how we want it to do. So now if I come into my PyHole instance, it's going to look a little differently, but if we want to do a quick test, like I can make a group, so I could do a test group. I can click add, and we could do like a, another group. I'll just do group, and I'll click add again. And then if I wait the five minutes, it's going to push it over. So I actually have been working on this in the past. So if I come over to my other instance, you can see stuff like my domains on list are going to match up pretty closely. My queries aren't because it's not querying the same but the stuff like the domains are going to match up. So if I have my domains over here, it's going to have that same config. If I come back over to groups, you can see I have my test groups. And if I come over to my second instance, you can see I'm going to have those groups as well. I have clients, so my clients will match up. So you can see those as well. So everything from the original is going to replicate over to the secondary. So whatever your config is, it's going to match. So I've been wanting to have something like this set up because like I said, I run two different Pi-hole DNS servers. Sometimes I have a situation where one turns off, maybe one crashes. I'm doing maintenance. I shut one off. I still need to have a DNS in the house. Now I have a secondary that's going to have the same config as my primary. So it could alleviate any chance of some sort of network issue because, you know, the DNS server is not set up right. All in all, I think Nebula Sync is a great project. I'm definitely going to continue to run it in my house because it's going to benefit my Pi Hole server greatly. It takes a lot of the time off my hands of having to sit here and make sure that my Pi Hole configs match up every time I make a change. It's a pretty simple setup, and once you get it going, it's a turnkey and leave it and just let it keep running. As always, I want to thank everybody for watching. I'll have links down below to all the information for Nebula and everything like that. I'll also have all the links to the gear. I use in my home lab. If you ever want to check any of it out, get it for yourself. I'll have a link down to the Discord server. I want to thank you all for watching, and as my buddy Don would say, hack till it hurts.